for Ratings YouTube, Danny Staten. I'm on the Danny Staten channel. I was down here earlier making a video. My girl said she had heard something while she was walking the dog last night. You can see that video. I'll probably put it up before I put this one up. And, and I just said at the end of the video, I thought I heard something. As soon as I stopped the camera, I heard a very strange whoop type sound. Can you hear that? Now the dogs are barking. Can you hear that off in the distance, that weird sound? As I attempt to make it up this hill. Apparently the dog hears something over there too. That's not my dog. My dog's in the house laying her fat lazy ass on the couch asleep. Because that's what she does. As usual, let me know in the comments below if you see anything I missed. Because the, the reason I'm kind of gnawing down here a little bit is, like I said, I stopped the camera and I was making this video and boom, then I heard a whoop sound and it sounded really, really close. I mean, not like 100 yards off in the woods or 50 yards off in the woods. It sounded like 25 yards off at the most. Right here where about the area I'm getting down into now. And that was only less than two minutes, three minutes ago. I'm not saying there's nothing out here. I don't know what it was. It could have been a bird for all I know. Just point that out. But it was weird. And there was that growly sound returning. You can find other examples of the growly sound, I'm sure, on this channel and the Daily Damn Blog. There's another holly tree growing over there. That's the second one I've seen. They're real easy, to, real easy to spot this time of the year. The holly trees grow these little red berries. And I love these trees. I usually dig them up and replant them in the front yard because of the beauty of them at this time of the year. They had that Christmas spirit kind of thing. Wow. Wow. There's Daddy Dan tripping. I thought I saw a blob squatch. I swear I did. You know what a blob squatch is, I'm sure. According to some people, you see them blob squatches out there? That's big put of cloaking. Or using his mystical abilities on you. Jury's still out with Dan on that one, but I do believe that Sasquatch, Bigfoot, whatever you want to call it, this cryptic creature can camouflage itself, but I believe it's more of like a natural ability. You know, like a chameleon when it changes color, or the octopus when it blends into its habitat in the ocean. I'm not a real believer on supernatural stuff or alien technology stuff. But I will say the jury's still out on that mind speak stuff. I've heard a lot of stories about that where Bigfoot kind of talks to people with the mind. As of this day, Bigfoot has never mentally talked to me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe I ain't got the right genes for Bigfoot to communicate with me telepathically. Maybe you have to be somewhat intelligent like the creature. You can't just be a redneck hillbilly drinking some moonshine, smoking a blunt, and looking for Bigfoot in the backyard. You have to be like, I don't know, Carrie or somebody. Or, I'm not going to say their names, but you know who they are. You have to be one of them people. A little bit more intelligent than the hillbillies.
like me. Maybe. That's just a theory, maybe. I don't know. You just don't ever know nothing. This is Danny Staten on the Danny Staten channel. Hearing strange noises in South Carolina, checking things out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that silly little bell. Be sure to check me out on my other channel, the Daily Dan Blog. Be sure to join me on my favorite channel, Daily Dan's The Good Stuff. And until next time, blog over, dudes.